feel like having this ghosty little light is really fun, but it messes up the lighting of the video. So if I have my head right in front of it, it kind of just gives an orangey fall glow to it. So we're going to run with that today. My name is Laura, this is my channel Laura's Little Library, and welcome to today's video, which is a video I've been meaning to film for quite a while now. So this is a tag, and it was created by Elizabeth over at Reading Riley. I love her channel by the way, I got to meet her when we were doing the Thrill to the Weekend a couple years ago, which is coming up again, which is super exciting. So definitely go out and check her channel, It's such she's such an amazing, fun, creative like thriller based reader but she also reads other genres and she's just so fun she just has such fun videos like this challenge so definitely go check her out I'll have her link down below but it's the telephone cover challenge and it's basically like the game telephone where you have a cover and you go through and you say it reminds me of this cover which reminds me of this cover which reminds me of this cover etc and so forth and then when you end your list, another person can pick it up. So I will be picking up this book after Sasha video, Sasha's video from The Wild Sasha. I, again, love her channel. I'll have it linked down below so you can check out her video and her channel if you are interested. She left it as an open tag of anyone can continue on. She's not going to tag a specific person. So I commented down below and was like, tag me. And she was like, okay. So... <laughs> That is why I'm picking up after hers. So let's get right into the tag. And the last book that she left off with is In the Nightwood by Dale Bailey. And so as you can see, this cover is pretty white with kind of a woodsy nature -y vibe. Um, so I decided to go with An Unkindness of Magicians by Kat Howard to pick it up. It has the same kind of like mostly white has tree branches coming along the side of it so I thought that they fit together pretty well and then I realized that there are kind of a lot of naturey themed covers out there of course so I the next couple books encompass that so the next book that I chose based off of this one I really took inspiration from more of the vines going off of the book rather than like the color and I chose season of the storm so instead of going onto the cover it's in a circle here so you've got kind of the seasons really not really the seasons are represented you have winter here and then you have spring and so it has these different kind of flowers off of these branches which then of course made me go to girl serpent thorn which are the spring flowers that I have on my shelf it is one of my favorite covers on my shelf it is so pretty I love again all of the branches and the literal thorns in this one with the roses but then I saw the snake that's interwoven between it and that just immediately made me think of Serpent and Dove. Literally a snake is the whole point of this cover and again it's got some lovely foliage around it so I feel like these past few books are just very similar to one another. Again it's got that inverse of the foliage there with the snake right there in the middle and the thin snake line made me think of Before She Ignites by Jodine Meadows. This, it's not really a snake, but she has like a little dragon tail because I believe she deals with dragons in this fantasy world. So she's got her flower crown because of course we need to have flowers in order for this to make sense. That apparently is the theme of this video is books with flower covers but she's got the little serpenty esque tail going around her but that ended up leading me in a completely different direction of I saw the pink dress and the main character who was mostly on the cover with like a darker background and I decided to go with Mexican Gothic after that I mean you can kind of see the main element of the main character being there um, pink dress turns into a red dress dark blue turns into a dark green and spooky vibes like they both have spooky vibes but in a very different way and so again with the main character on the cover of it it made me think for the next book of another main character wearing red on the cover 
So I went to For the Wolf by Hannah Witten. This, and again, it has that woodsy aspect to that. Kind of goes back a couple of books. And so she's got this red cloak on the cover, turned to the side. Again, you don't really see her whole body. But it was where my brain went to after seeing that one, which then, how can I not have one Red Riding Hood retelling and not jump to another one? So Red Wolf is the next book that my brain thought of because it is extremely similar. I mean, you've got the woods aspect in the background, kind of in the middle of her cloak. Red cloak, red cloak, kind of main character. So very, very similar covers. Um, they're both kind of Red Riding Hood retellings and I love them both. I highly recommend both of them. Um, so again, I saw the red cloak and I thought, you know what else has a red cloak that's not a Red Riding Hood retelling? Scythe. Scythe by Neil Schusterman has that red cloak main character on the cover but you don't see their face and you don't like know who they are. I mean, obviously read the book, you'll figure it out. But this was the book that I decided to go with and it has such a lovely color scheme, honestly. I really love that book. And those are actually all nine books that I went through. So my brain just went from one to the next to the next. Um, I very clearly went off of specific themes, but yes, I'm leaving this off with Scythe. So if anyone wants to pick up where I am leaving off of this telephone cover challenge. Scythe would be your next book to pick up off of and then choose nine books after that of what covers made you think of other covers. This is such a fun video tag idea. I am constantly seeing covers and thinking, oh, that's just like this one, or it's just like this one, or it reminds me of this. It was nice to finally kind of draw some connecting lines between some of these books and let me know if you see the connections between these. If you thought of other books that have similar covers to any of the books I mentioned in this stack, I would love to see where your brain goes and honestly it's probably a very close match and I would just love to see this continue on. If you do continue on, please let me know. I would love to watch your videos. But that's all for this one. Thank you all so very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And again, consider yourself tagged if you want to do this. Just pick up a scythe and go wherever your heart takes you. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Feel free to comment down below anything about bookish covers. I also have social media link down below where you can see what I'm reading as I'm reading it and my thoughts and various other bookish content. Also feel free to subscribe. I make videos on Sundays and Wednesdays. I'm doing my very cool spooky season spectacular right now. So I am releasing one vlog a week, reading different spooky themed books, and then a second video because I always post two videos because it's fun. <sighs> all right. Again, thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one. But until then, I wish you happy reading. Mm -hmm.